Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to the very first episode of my new defunct series. Um, we're starting off today with a team from Mobile, Alabama. You may be wondering where that is. That is in the very far southeast corner of the state of Alabama. This is a team called the Mobile Mystics. They were around from 1995 until 2002. They moved to Gwinnett and became the Gwinnett La uh, Gladiators. Then after that, as of 2015 through today, they are the Atlanta Gladiators. Um, <clears throat> they were an ECHL team. And um, to give you a little bit of backstory on ECHL, I got a bunch of notes here. Uh, it was founded in 1988 in Princeton, New Jersey by Henry Brabham. Uh, it was a merger of the Atlantic City Hockey League and the All-American Hockey League, which are two different teams now, obviously. Um, it, right now, as of now, there are 27 teams in the league, 25 in the United States, 2 in Canada. At, at its most, there were 31 teams, so at one point it had as many teams as the current NHL uh, roster. And also, it is known for having the most unbalanced conference system um, out there. And that's just a little basic. So, let's get into this a little more. They came into the ECHL um, during its eighth season, which was an expansion year for the league. Other teams like the Louisiana Ice Gators and the Ice Pilots from Pensacola came in. And they uh, moved all those teams there. And Mobile got a team. Mobile, Alabama is not a traditional hockey market. You don't think hockey in Alabama would go well together. But you'd be surprised. Huntsville, Alabama has a team. Birmingham has college league teams. They don't have a minor or major team anymore. Although they did used to have the Birmingham Bulls in the ECHL and Birmingham Bulls in the WHA. Which we will get into at some point on this channel. Now... They were AHL affiliates for the Hershey Bears. They were also NHL affiliates for the Philadelphia Flyers. And they even had a coach that was a former player for the Flyers. We'll get into the coaches in a minute. Now, season by season, it's really rocky when we talk about the seasons. Their opening season, uh, 70 games played, 23 wins, 37 losses, 11 overtime losses, 55 points total, 265 goals for, 325 against, and they finished 7th in the standings in their division, which is bottom. And their attendance at that point was 5,310 people on average. Now you'll see as these go down, the less attendance there are. 96-97, 70 games, uh, 34 wins, 25 losses, 11 overtime. 79 points, 257 goals for, 263 against, they finished 4th. Attendance that year was roughly 4,917. So not a big difference there from the season before. Now this is where we start to see a decline a little bit. 97-98, uh, still 70 games up until, I'll let you know when it changes from 70 to 72. So... 35 wins, 27 losses, 87 overtime losses, 78 points, 236-4, 233 against. They finished 5th, and the attendance that year was 4,558. So you can see a gradual decline from that initial 5,300. 98-99, uh, uh, 31 wins, 31 losses, 8 overtime, 78 points. Um... 231 4 to 59 against and they finished second that year by far their best season and their attendance that year was drum roll please 3,800 uh, 3,874 by the way my bad they actually finished fifth that year I think I said second they finished fifth but that was their lowest attendance by far but not their worst season, might I add. They had uh, they had one season where they had a lot of wins, but that wasn't one. It was their season where they um, 
also have the lowest attendance for instance, I don't think so. 99 to 2000, 40 uh, wins, 28 losses, 2 overtime, 82 points, 275 for, 23 against. They finished second, that's when they finished second. Now, they had a total attendance of 4,177. So you see, they got back up in their attendance that year. And this was a sign of, hey, maybe our team, I'm not going to get a drink, I don't feel like falling over. Um, they were like, hey, maybe this team is uh, better than we thought, maybe we can profit off of this, and maybe, just maybe we might be able to get to the Kelly Cup, which is the ECHL's answer to the Stanley Cup, obviously, and the Calder Cup, whatever we, the Championship Cup that they win, that's the Kelly Cup for ECHL. 2000-2001, it is, this is when it goes from 70 to 72 games played total. So this season they had 38 wins, 28 losses, 6 overtime, 82 points, 244, 233 against. They finished 3rd, and their attendance this year was the lowest as of the, as of the initial first few years. Their total attendance was 3,542. Now, final season. Uh, 01 02. 28 wins, 26 losses, 18 overtime, 74 points, 215 4, 237 against. And they finished sixth, which is the lowest they had been since their first season. And also this season. They had 2,618 attendance, approximately. So that was the, their lowest attendance by far. Their totals, 494 games played, 228 wins, 202 losses, 64 overtime. And their point average was .526. Now, playoffs. Let's get into the playoff runs. 95-96, first year, and they did not make it. 96-97, they were knocked out in the first round by the Louisiana Ice Gators in round four. 97-98, they were knocked out in the first round again by the Ice Gators in round five. Game five, not round, game five. Game five and game four. 98-99, they didn't even make it to the playoffs. They lost in the uh, preliminaries to the Birmingham Bulls in four games. 99 to 2000, they lost first round to the Greenville Growl in Game 7. 2000-2001, they won the first round against the Jackson Bandits in 5. They lost second round to the South Carolina Stingrays in 6. And then their final season, 2001-2002, they were out of the playoffs. Alright. So let's get into the team itself, the people that make this happen. There are colors were where is it their colors were purple gold and green their mascot was a dragon his name was puck and they have one of the best jerseys ever if you haven't seen it i'll link it in the description um go check it out it's a beautiful jersey beautiful logo it's a shame this team didn't stick around now back to the teams their coaches they had Eddie Johnstone, former Detroit Red Wings and New York Rangers player. He was with them from the 95-96 season to the 96-97 season, where he was replaced by Matt Shaw, who is a former player for the Sharks, the Wilds, and the Devils, who was active for the 97-98 season, where he was promptly replaced by Jeff Pyle, who is a former Birmingham Whalers player. And also uh, now is the head coach of the Atlanta Gladiators, so it's still the Mystics franchise. He was coached from 98 until they left in 2002. Now let's talk about the top 10 goal scorers in this team. First up we have Jason Edel Elders uh, with 262 assists, 226 goals. 438 games played. He played the entire uh, lifespan of this team. Hugis Gervais, 
253 assists, 131 goals, 328 games played. He was from 96 to 2002. Mark Turner, 101 assists, 75 goals, 130 games played, 99 to 2001. Dave Kravich, 84 assists, 64 goals, 287 GP, 95 to 2000. Five years. Rob Atkinson, 176 assists, 54 goals, 128 games played, uh, 95 to 97, so two years. Tom Nolan, 66 assists, 48 goals, 105 GP, 98 to 2000, two years. BJ Kilborn, no, Tom Nolan. Tom, I already said Nolan. Uh, okay, Bobby Stewart, 66 4, 49 goals, 100 games played, 99 01. I think I already said that. If I did, I'm sorry. I only do this in one take, I'm not restarting. BJ Kilborn, uh, 48 assists, 47 goals, 203 GP, 99 02. Russ Guzzer, 95 assists, 44 goals, 86 GP. 98 to 2000. Russell Monteith, 23 assists, 42 goals, 134 GP, and 97 99. Once again, two years. And now, for players that were in the NHL, and I'm only listing four because there's a lot of them. Scott Winkow, he was uh, picked up by the Jets in round two, 31st overall. He played one game, he played uh, three games with the Phoenix Coyotes in 97-98, and then in 98-99, he played one game with them. And he also played 15 games with the Atlanta Thrashers, which is another team I will be covering on this channel. Michael Gall, picked up by the Kings in round 12, 26 overall in the draft. He was also played for the Avalanche for one game. He played for the Columbus Blue Jackets for two games, and those were all from 1998 to 99, and then from 2000 to 2001. Alright, now Lee Griffin. Lee Giffen, he played, was picked up by the Penguins. Round 2, 23rd overall in the 85 entry draft. He got 25 games in with the Pens from 86 to 82. He was then... Um, that was his whole career. Uh, Sean. Let's see. He played. Oh, uh, Rich Sean. Uh, Sharks, round two, 38th overall, 95. Played 170, 107 games from 93 to 01. Then from 02 to 03, he played 27 games with the Penguins. And then with the Thrashers, he played 27 games from 03 to 04. The also notable goalies, Chuck Fuss, Mike uh, Winterzuzzi, Steve DeBus, or DeBuse, uh, Chris Wickenheis, he's Heiss, sorry if I mispronounced that, Greg Hewitt, and Mark Mashad. Now, to the final part of this video, relocation. Why did the Mobile Mystics relocate? and become the Atlanta Gladiators, who are now the Boston Bruins uh, affiliate for the ECHL. Well, first off, the City of Mobile stopped funding the team. If you look at recent Mobile City records when it comes to funding sports teams, they're about to lose their baseball team, I believe, the Bay Bears, I think. They're also, they uh, lost another baseball team. I think they've lost three baseball teams now. They, they had a basketball team, that didn't last very long. I think it was the Wizards. And overall, they just, the city has not been very good with sports funding and funding teams in the city, which is a shame. Attendance dropped drastically. If you look at these numbers, which I'll link everything in the bottom in case you didn't catch it all here, the numbers were horrible once it got to the point where it was the last couple of years of the team. And overall, their attendance just didn't last at all. Gwinnett had money, they had support, they had fans of hockey, and they had a stadium. And they were willing to pay. The Thrashers were there. At, Georgia had an NHL team again. After the Flames left for Calgary, they got the Thrashers years later. And all of a sudden, Atlanta's a, hockey, a thriving hockey state again. 
So there's hockey fans that are thriving to see hockey, but don't necessarily have the money to go to a Thrashers game. So go to a place like Gwinnett and go see a minor team like the Gladiators play. It's foolproof. They had the money, they had the stadium, they had the support, they had the fans to back it. Then, low demand for hockey in the city of Mobile, Alabama. The city of Mobile, once again, is a very, very sou southern team. They do not support something like hockey here. By the way, I meant to say southern city, not team. They do not support things like hockey here very much at all. The closest places you have to go see a game, Major League, is Nashville, Raleigh, um, Florida, which is all like eight hour drives, sometimes more. And with minor league, Mobilians, I think, can go to Pensacola and see the Ice Flyers, I believe. And people aren't going to see that. Their attendance is doing fine in Pensacola, but over here, Mobile, the attendance just kept going down. And also, there is currently a petition to bring back the Mystics. A good friend of mine has signed it, and he's passed around a lot. Um, it's to bring back the Mystics. It's currently at, I want to say, a few thousand signatures. I could be wrong. I think it's either in the hundreds or the thousands, somewhere. But I will leave that in the description if you want to go sign it. And overall, the Mystics were a great team. They had a great jersey. They had a great fan base. Their fan base went to most of their games. They were There were a ton of diehard fans. They have the arena. They play at the Mobile Civic Center in downtown Mobile, Alabama. Play at the Civic Center for the whole time they were there. There's still Mystic stuff there. There's still Mystic fan everywhere. A lot of places down there still have Mystic's memorabilia. You can still find fans of the team there. And overall, I think they were robbed of a team. You know, it was it's a it's a Thrasher's case. Winnipeg had the money. Thrasher's attendance was low. Bad management, so they moved. Same thing with the Mystics, except on a minor league level. So, I think hockey should go back to Mobile. They had a great team, they had a great jersey, they had a great fan base. Everything about them was good. But they got robbed by Atlanta slash Gwinnett. So if you want to sign this petition, I will be putting it in the description below. I'm also going to be linking the stats. There's also, for some of my information and some very rare photos and footage of this team, which surprisingly there's not a whole lot of, I will be linking a Facebook group in below that where people have shared rare photos and videos of the team and such. So go check that out. I'll also be posting where I got most of my information from, like for score, stats, attendance, stuff like that. I'll be posting in the description below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the series. I know I'm going to enjoy it, so I hope you will too. I can only hope. So if you like this, thumbs up, or you can thumbs down, leave some comments of some teams you'd like me to talk about, give some constructive criticism, leave it below, and thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. I hope you look forward to other videos in this series, like I said, it will be uploaded every Wednesday. Also, happy Halloween everyone, I hope you have fun out there, stay safe. So with that said, I'm Logan, you can find videos here, you can subscribe here, you can find videos here too, I believe wherever editing Logan decides to put the links. And I will see you next Wednesday when I upload the next video in the Defunct series. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you stick around and subscribe. I'm Logan, I'll see you Wednesday.